All right, welcome. We're going to be covering a search workflow action and a post workflow action. We've already covered a get, so we'll cover the other two now. Go over to our index of web. Search over all time. And let's make a search workflow action for our status codes. Let's see what these status codes are. And we put them in a search to see where else they may be in our practice data indexes. So when the search workflow action is done, it will also be displayed here, just like a get workflow action would be, or a post. So let's do it for search. We can go into settings, fields, new workflow action. I'm going to leave it in search and we can give it a name. We can call it code search. Label. This is what's going to show up in the event action drop down. So we can say search for other. status codes and status will be a variable that pulls from the event. We're going to apply it to the field of status. It's going to be a search action type. I'm going to leave it just in the event menu action bar. You can put it in the fields menu bar if you'd like to, but we're just going to leave it in the event bar. Search string. We can do our indexes for our practice data. Where we're searching across all of our indexes for our practice data where the status equals that variable field value for the status code and we'll leave it to run in a new window and we can select use the same time range as the search that created the field listing we can go ahead and click save after we reviewed it it is there we can go back into search and reporting And let's go into our index of web and look for all of our status codes. And we can see for this event, the status code is 200. So if we drop down, we now have our search workflow action, search for other 200 codes. And when we click this, it will run a search workflow action replacing the variable and searching where we defined in that workflow action to search across all of our indexes with our practice data. This will change for events that have different status codes. So for 408, since we set it as a variable, it will say search for other 408 codes. So a very simple search workflow action. Now we can move into creating a post workflow action. Let's say we just wanted to log some events to a log book or a website for events that we were seeing. We want to post the data to that website. So we can create a new one. Add a new workflow action. And leave it in search. And I'm just going to say um, post or add to website or we had a log book on that website, something like that. And the label that we want to display, we can say post to our log website, our log book website fields. We can do everything, so all of the raw data. We can leave the action type as link. And then for our URL, 
can grab any URL that for a website for testing, which is just kind of what I've set up here. Um, just a webhook site. And be sure to change the method from get to post. This is where we need to set our post arguments, so the fields that we want to post to the website. And we are going to be grabbing everything from raw. And I'm going to call that description. And we can click save. Our new workflow action is posted. We can go back to our events and refresh. The new workflow action of post to our logbook website is available. And when we click it, so all of our raw data has made it over in a post request to our practice website that accepts HTTP post requests. We can see our host of web two with our 200 status code and some raw data associated with the Splunk data. So a very simple example of a search workflow action and a post workflow action.